Jennifer Lawrence is the diamond of the season in this Bridgerton-esque dress. The sheer trend meets Jane Austen fantasy. Jennifer Lawrence may have been at a party in Hollywood, but she looked like she just stepped out of a Jane Austen novel or an episode of Bridgerton. Sunday night, the actor channeled the Regency era for her appearance at Vanity Fair's annual Oscars after party. Pulling a jaw-dropping vintage look from 1996 Couture collection, Lawrence wore a sheer white gown featuring delicate floral embroidery, a ruffled high collar, puff short sleeves, and the empire waistline typical of early 19th century fashion standards. Attached to the back of the dress was a matching sheer white train covered in a regal pattern, which trailed behind her as she made her way down the carpet. She finished off the look with diamond stud earrings, an ivory bracelet, and white pointed toe pumps. Earlier, Lawrence attended the 96th Academy Awards wearing a different couture creation, this one from, an unsurprising choice, given that she's an ambassador for the luxury fashion house. The piece was reminiscent of old Hollywood glamour, from the black and white polka dot pattern to the floor-length shawl she wrapped loosely around her shoulders. Though she wasn't nominated for an Oscar this year, the No Hard Feeling star joined Charlize Theron, Sally Field, Michelle Yeoh, and Jessica Lange to present the Oscar for actress in a leading role. The award ultimately went to Lawrence's longtime friend Emma Stone for her performance as Bella Baxter in Poor Things. The women on this stage, you are all incredible, Stone said in her acceptance speech. And the women in this category, Sandra, Annette, Carrie, Lily, I share this with you. I'm in awe of you. It has been such an honor to do this all together, and I hope we continue to do more together. Sydney Sweeney just wore Angelina Jolie's 2004 dress to the Oscars after parties. What's old is new again. First, Jennifer Lawrence brought back a Givenchy dress from 1996 at tonight's Vanity Fair Oscars after party, and now Sydney Sweeney is digging into the fashion archives as well. Specifically, she wore the very same Mark Bauer dress that Angelina Jolie wore to the 2004 Academy Awards. It's been two decades, but the dress is still as chic as ever. That plunging neckline, that beautiful sash, it's sustainable fashion at its finest. Sweeney even accessorized with a layered necklace that's very similar to Jolie's OG jewels. By choosing this dress and styling it similarly, Sweeney and her stylist, Molly Dixon, wanted to make clear their appreciation for Jolie's fashion prowess. Scroll down to see how Sydney Sweeney revived an Oscars classic 20 years later. Erin got her start as a Who What Were in turn over 12 years ago, back when the site only published a single story per day. Who What Wear has since increased that number 20-fold. She graduated magna cum laude from USC, which is how she ended up moving to Los Angeles from her hometown of San Diego. In college, she also interned at 29, where she was promoted to editorial assistant and then assistant editor. After nearly three years at 29, she came back to in 2016, where she currently holds the title of senior news editor, as well as the unofficial title of resident royal expert, in case you haven't noticed her numerous Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton stories. She spends her days trying to incorporate her idols, Anna Wintour and Roger Federer, into as many stories as possible. Outside of work, she loves tennis, classic rock, traveling, and smothering her dog with affection. Fans applaud Travis Kelsey for blowing a kiss to Taylor Swift during concert in joy-filled moment. Taylor Swift's era's tour has blessed fans with plenty of viral moments over the past year, but in recent months, the shows have also offered brief glimpses into the pop superstar's relationship with her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. Just as Swift cheered on her tight end bow at 13 Kansas City Chiefs games during the last NFL season, Kelsey has attended three of the Love Story singers' concerts so far. And recently, fans swooned over a video of Kelsey blowing Swift a kiss at the end of her era's tour shows as she appeared to wave directly at him. The, formerly Twitter, fan account posted a clip of the bling can you miss it moment, writing, him blowing her a kiss as the confetti falls. I can't do this. It's so perfect. 
another person declared, but the wave I just have to look away, while another commented, these two make my heart happy.